Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and welcome to Call of Duty Ghost School 101 where today I'm going to be teaching you about the armor piercing rounds, giving you all the aspects of it, showing you just how much extra damage they do to kill streaks and whether or not they go through armor and whether or not they just do more damage in normal. And uh, I did this through a, a bunch of little small tests that are, you're going to be seeing on your screen right now. I'm going to be breaking down each one of them and showing you exactly how this, this, little, uh, this little attachment works. So starting it off here, as you can see, this person has no armor and this is regular ammo. This is just a basic test just seeing how many shots it takes to kill someone. All these are at the exact same range, and uh, as you can see, it takes four shots to kill someone with regular ammo, and they do not have armor. This next one is uh, with armor piercing ammo, and again, they have no they have no armor, and as you can see, it still takes four shots to kill. So just normally, this this uh, this attachment does not give you any extra damage normally, and uh, will not will not increase your chances of killing. So this next one, they have armor, and I have regular ammo. This is without the armor piercing rounds on, and as you can see, it takes ten shots to kill someone. This armor is really really good in this game and will actually increase uh, the number of hits you can take from this pistol at this range by six so this next one here I actually have armor piercing ammo and again they're gonna put on the uh, the armor and as you can see it completely ignores their armor it, it just doesn't even pop up with the armor indicator and again it takes four shots to kill so this what this ammo does is it completely ignores any sort of ballistic armor that they have on and will kill them much much faster and as you can see here's the ballistic vest that they just put on and it completely ignored that so the next test that we did was actually testing how much damage this does to kill streaks because one of the uh, one of the uh, attributes about it is it destroys enemy enemy controlled kill streaks much faster than normal. So as you can see here, we did this test with a Griffin, and all this stuff is at the exact same range, so you uh, so you know it's a constant test. So as you can see here, uh, it takes it takes a lot more shots than usual to shoot the Griffin down with normal ammo, uh, just compared to armor piercing ammo. So as you can see, it took all 12 of those shots. I had to reload, and then I had to shoot three more. So it took 15 shots. With uh, with normal ammo to destroy the Griffin, and in this next one I have armory piercing rounds, and we're gonna see how many shots it takes to kill it in this. So as you can see, I start shooting it, and it actually takes around two thirds of the shots to kill it. It takes ten shots to kill the Griffin with armory piercing ammo. So uh, as you can see, it de it deals around 133% uh, damage to kill streaks with the armory piercing ammo, and it's just really good. It's really good for taking down uh, taking down enemy controlled stuff. But honestly, overall, I would not recommend using this this attachment just because it's it's only useful in certain situations if the entire team is for, for whatever reason running armor then I, I definitely would use it but uh, in, in that case I mean I don't know why they would be at all and uh, the number of people who get killstreaks in this game is not enough to constitute using the armor piercing ammo so I would not recommend this attachment but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown here and learned something new about it and if you did be sure to hit a like hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one